Ah, good evening, and welcome to the Raven House of Mysterious Happenings. <laughs> In tonight's comic book review, we are going to meet a professional thief who takes on a very interesting job. He has to enter a haunted mansion, locate a ghost, and steal it for his client's unusual collection. So, here we go. Ghost, issue number one. Now, in this introductory issue, we meet uh, Jackson T. Winters, who is a thief and con man who is uh, currently serving a long term in prison. Uh, there is a jailbreak, and Winters finds himself suddenly out of prison and in the home of a wealthy man named Marcus. Uh, Marcus has a great collection of uh, supernatural artifacts, but he has a proposition for Mr. Winters. He wants Winters to break into the Trask mansion and steal a ghost. Well, of course, uh, Winters thinks that uh, Marcus is crazy, but the money is just uh, too good uh, not to take the job. So uh, Winters decides uh, he'll have to put a crew together in order to uh, get into the Trask Mansion and see if they can find a ghost and then how to capture it. I really like this issue. I thought I did a good job of setting up the premise and the cast of characters. Um, you get Jackson Winters who goes around and uh, gets his crew together, which includes the lady who broke him out of prison. She's a mercenary and seems quite capable. And then, of course, you have a uh, pair of uh, ghost uh, hunters on all their equipment, and a uh, stage magician, and uh, even a psychic who uh, Marcus wants to go along, but uh, Winters doesn't fully trust, so that's kind of an interesting thing there. Uh, we also learn a little bit about the Trask family and this uh, mansion that they lived in and the terrifying history that comes with this house. So you've got like this this motley group of uh, characters getting together to almost like form a heist, you know, because they're going in there to steal a ghost. And then, of course, you've got the house and the terrifying history. So it's kind of like taking two genres and putting them together, which uh, I think is a really interesting premise. Hopefully it'll it'll play out well in the issues ahead. Um, the artwork is very good. It, it hits kind of a creepy tone and uh, some, you know, some spooky stuff that's really necessary. And, uh, you know, when, the, when this uh, cast of characters actually gets to the mansion and they go in, something, something happens right off the bat. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I've got to pick up the second issue just to find out what's going to happen. So, so this issue does a good job of just setting up the premise and hopefully is a, just kind of leads into hopefully what will be a good story and a lot of fun along in the future issues. So, uh, but I can definitely recommend it. Uh, just because it just has a great premise and it sets it up well and uh, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Well, uh, that's about it. Thank you as always for listening. 